Last Thursday, I was scrolling through my Facebook feed when I happened upon a post from Black Pine Animal Sanctuary saying they were rescuing four tigers from Animal King Park. Whoa, I shouted to myself. This is a huge story. And even though I'm not really in competition with anybody at the moment, my inner journalist still wanted to scoop somebody. I didn't know if any of the other media outlets had covered this story already, but I thought this would make a really good story for my Rivervine YouTube channel. My name is Gwen Elise Clayton. I am an author and a freelance journalist who has never seen a single episode of The Tiger King. But I have been to Black Pines Animal Sanctuary and I can name at least 12 of the animals by name, both their species and their given names. As soon as I read the news, I ran to my husband, Eddie, and told him, we gotta check this out. It's been three years since we were there last, and when we got there, we learned that we were supposed to make an appointment to join a tour group. Turns out, human to animal transmission of COVID-19 is a huge deal, and precautions have to be made in order to protect these animals. Most of them are in very fragile health and need to be protected. But fortune smiled upon us as we got there just before the last tour of the day started and we were able to make our appointment on site. We also learned that staff weren't at liberty to discuss the Tiger King issue. All they could tell us was the tigers were in quarantine for a month and they'll release more information as they can. But to satisfy your curiosity, let me read to you the official media release. Black Pine Animal Sanctuary rescues four tigers from Tiger King Park as part of large scale rescue operation. Nestled on 18 acres in northern Indiana Lake Country, Black Pine Animal Sanctuary, the only accredited multi-species animal sanctuary in the Midwest, worked closely this past week with the U.S. Department of Justice, other accredited sanctuaries, and law enforcement to successfully seize and rescue 69 big cats at the Tiger King Park owned by Jeff and Lauren Lowe. Home to these lions, tigers, lion-tiger hybrid, and a single jaguar, the Thackerville, Oklahoma facility was searched and the animals removed due to, quote, ongoing Endangered Species Act violations, unquote. Black Pine Animal Sanctuary, home to over 100 displaced, captive, raised exotic animals, is providing refuge and care for four of the 69 cats while the U.S. Department of Justice pursues permanent forfeiture of the animals. Black Pine's mission is to provide refuge for the rest of their lives. Get it? Rest? They're resting? They're like retiring? While in the care of Black Pine, each animal will receive veterinary care, diets designed for each animal's health needs, enrichment activities, and large natural habitats to live in. Black Pine Animal Sanctuary, located in Albion, Indiana, is operated by Professional Animal Retirement Center, a 501c3 nonprofit charitable organization. Staff guided tours are available by reservation Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday through the summer. Reservations can be made by visiting www.bpsanctuary.org. So now let me tell you why I love this place. Black Pine Animal Sanctuary 
is not a zoo. The animals do not perform. You don't get to touch them. You don't get to pet them. You don't get to play with them. They are there to, to live out the rest of their days. Most of them are rescue animals. They are injured. They are sick. They need care. They can't go live in the wild. And they can't just go into somebody's home and be a pet. They need some place to stay. And so this way, they get the proper nutrition. They get interaction with humans. They get to run around. And it helps us humans understand what these animals need, why it's bad to declaw your cats, why it's not a good idea to think, oh, I can have a raccoon as a pet, or gee, this wolf is really cute, I'd like to have it as a pet. Now, the wild animals do not make pets, so just don't do it. They, they'll they end up in a wildlife sanctuary like this. The other animals are here to retire, maybe they were circus animals or other performers and you know, there comes a point where they just can't perform anymore and where are they gonna go? They can't go back to the wild, so they have to go somewhere. And it's nice to have a place where they can be comfortable and be appreciated and be around humans who are going to take good care of them. The last time I was at Black Pine Animal Sanctuary was in 2018. And my daughter, who is now 28 and lives in Sacramento, California, was out for a visit. Now, when she was a little girl, she used to love Disney's Lion King movie. And Black Pine Animal Sanctuary at the time had a lion named Mufasa. Now, a few months after our visit, Mufasa died and he is buried in the animal cemetery that is on campus there. Our tour guide, Judy, talked to us a little bit more about Mufasa, telling us about what he was like as a lion. He was there a long time, and we actually got to see his grave up close. Well, Mufasa was quite a guy. Um, he was king, let's put it that way. He was the king, and he was a very pleasant king for the most part. Sometimes you get a little angry, but he, for the most part, he realized that he had a, a huge fan base. And so he always tried to look his best. Uh, his mane was extraordinary. As he got older, he didn't take care of his dreadlocks down along his body. So he was a little um, unattractive there, but to the end, because I was here when he was uh, euthanized, he was king to the end. He was watching everything going on and it was just like, my subjects are here with me. Another interesting story I have about Black Pine Animal Sanctuary is back in December of 2020, a local brew pub called Trouble Brewing held a fundraiser for the animal park and they were auctioning off different paintings by the animals. I mean, the animals themselves actually painted these pieces. I had bid on a piece of artwork by a Honduran milk snake named Ringo, but unfortunately, I was outbid, so I didn't come home with it that time. But Fortune smiled on me last week when, lo and behold, I was in the gift shop and I was able to find a piece of art painted by Ringo the Milk Snake. I have his little picture right here. There he is, isn't he cute? And you can even see, if you go up close, you can see the scales. And I absolutely love purple, green, and teal as a color combination. It's one of my favorites. So I was able to take this home last week. And so now I am the proud owner of a Ringo. A Ringo. The park also allows people to adopt various animals at the park. But the one animal that I wanted most wasn't up for adoption at the time. I, I suppose they're all available at some point. They just don't have all of the 
promotional pieces worked out. Like you get an eight by 10 photo and a little uh, write up about it. But my favorite animal in the park is a baboon named May. She is practically blind, if not totally blind, and she has severe arthritis. She's 32 years old and she was rescued or retired from a circus. And I just felt like with her being blind and having arthritis, she was like a soul sister to me. So I will be adopting her as soon as the paperwork is in place because she's my little soul sister. I don't know when or if anything's gonna come with the Tiger King tigers. Um, they're still in quarantine, quarantine as of this date and they can't discuss it any further due to Department of Justice. It's an ongoing investigation or whatever. Anyhow, they can't discuss it any further. So, um, but they are trying to raise money because, you know, it's costly to do all this. So uh, if you can help them out, please go to bpsanctuary.org and donate today. Thank you.